backing series, savings accounts, checking accounts, certificate deposit. Stay connected. Oh yeah, welcome to my channel. My name is Peter. I'm a certified investor, personal finance enthusiast, and I'm also an IT professional. And on this channel, we talk all things investing, economy, retirement, personal finance, and of course, mindset. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment, notification bell. That way you don't miss any of my special content. Cool beans. And guys, here on Game of Finance, we're trying to bring positive change, inspire, help, learn, share ideas, growth, and good leadership. So please make sure that you stay safe stay healthy and now without further ado let's go ahead and begin this session cool so guys this is a continuation series regarding banking especially deposit accounts now in this video we just mainly focus on the differences between savings accounts the checking accounts and certificate deposits you know i got some of the feedback from you know peers friends and some clients that they uh, were asking to do a breakdown and those were the three that were hot, you know, on top of the list. So we're going to just address some of the points that way you can also get familiar on, on the differences and what you can do with each account. Okay. So you yeah, guys, in, in this video, we're going to go very user friendly and very specific without too much of the bells and whistles. That way you have a better understanding regarding the banking and deposit accounts. So let's begin i got three and then i'm going to give you bonus the first one regarding the deposit accounts is going to be the checking account very simple checking account used for daily expenses and bills account holders can write checks for funds in the account very simple the next one is going to be savings account well used for saving money for emergency or a specific goal in this case, for savings accounts, typically, most of them, they, you actually be able to earn interest. Next one, it's gonna be the certificate deposits, the CDs. Well, for this one, use for long-term savings. Interest rates are higher than, you know, most of the savings accounts, you know, it's gonna give you a nice interest where you cannot go crazy with drawing money out of it because you wanna remember, you want to make sure that you keep all the money that you have so all right guys let's begin right away banking deposit accounts savings account versus checking account versus cds all right so now let's begin here with this section right here all this here things that you need to be aware of factors factors major key let's begin right away interest rates IR, you need to keep an eye on interest rates, especially right now, fluctuation, the Fed's, the, you know, dumping money, it's going to change. You'll see them right now. Next, it's the interest rates are going to be fixed or variable. Another key, liquidity. Next one, ATM card. And, of course, the ability to write checks. Many reasons, you know, down payment, maybe your insurance, you know, the if you want to withdraw automatically, you got to do the voided check, all the good stuff, you know, your bills. So again, factors to consider, interest rates, IR, variable or fixed, liquidity, ATM card, and the ability to write checks. Key, let's move on. All right, guys, beginning, this blue star right here, savings accounts, SA. Let's go ahead, let's pick this one first, factors beginning with the interest rates. Savings accounts, well, offer higher APYs than most CAs, that's checking accounts, and some CDs in exchange for more restriction. So, major key right there. Next, variable or fixed interest rates. Well, for savings accounts, actually is variable. That's what we see right now, Fed's pushing money into the economy. So because of that, there's a lot of fluctuations. We saw some of those interests going down dramatically. 
you know, a, a few months ago, beginning of the year, some of the savings accounts interest were really, really good. Nice. So make sure you keep an eye on this. Fed rates, they actually able to dictate all the interest rate for the savings account. So food for thought right there. Next, liquidity, cash. I already addressed this cash section. Fairly high, but there are fewer withdrawal options and penalties for excessive withdrawals. You have also, you need to keep an eye, this section right here, is possible six withdrawals. So you need to confirm that with the financial institution. With most banks that do with six, but you need to watch out, make sure that it's six, not four, or, you know, or three, because if you do, it's going to be a penalty and a fee, and it could be ranging from $5 to $15. $15, that's a lot. That's unacceptable. Investing rule, never lose money. $15, that's a $15 that you can actually put a mission on each dollar. That way, they can work for you. So losing that money because you were not paying attention, unacceptable. Seriously. So moving on to the next one. ATM card. Possible, but very, very rare. If on a savings account, they're gonna give you, they might give you an ATM, you know, uh, ATM card to you because it, it for them it kind of defeats the purpose because it's savings account. If you have access to an ATM card, debit card, there's a chance that all that money is just gonna go down the drain. So, you know, it has the pros and cons. Of course, with the ATM, you'll be able to increase the liquidity then again it defeats the purpose because you might go crazy buying you know your energies or your gucci or something else you know might go out there to every day you know get into restaurants and all that stuff but then again um just keep an eye for atm cards very rare next now for the savings account writing checks this is a no-no they don't have they don't have that ability that feature for savings accounts that's why you have the next one so we're going to go down to that one so checking writing ability no on the savings account section all right well beans now then you're writing checking account c8 this red start right here all right so checking account again beginning with the interest rates typically offer a low interest rate sometimes if any you know, it all depends. There's some accounts that actually have some reasonable interest rates on their checking, but most of them is very, very little, very low. So checking account, now moving to the variable and fixed interest rates. Again, they fall same as the savings accounts. It's going to be variable. Why? Because you need to keep an eye on this here. This is one thing that they both have in common. Fed rates, they have, especially right now, again, Fed's dumping money, trying to keep the common, uh, I'm sorry, the economy alive. This is very key right here. So checking accounts, variable or fixed, is going to be variable. Liquidity, all right, for checking accounts, it's going to be high. Several deposits options, no restrictions on withdrawal. Why? Because the purpose for the checking account is to be a little more live as far as paying bills, moving, moving the money around, you know, um, you know, maybe you know, down payment and things like that. So this is why it's very, very high. So the liquidity is just right there, right off the bat. Next for checking accounts, ATM cards. Well, yes, definitely. Again, be able to pay to buy stuff. You know, you know, groceries, you know, maybe you know you need to buy maybe you know some you know prescriptions and things like that. So again for checking accounts, ATM card, that will be a yes. Moving along, check, writing checks. This is this one is obvious. Yes, of course, again, that's the ability to write down your checks for payments or you know, again for the insurance, you need that. And, you know your routing and your account number that way you can provide that to the agency and finish your uh, insurance process you know that's an example so checking accounts writing checks yes of 
course. Now, moving to the next one. Last but not least, certificate of deposit, the CDs, this blue section right here. Let's take a look. Factors, interest rate. Go ahead. Depending on the term and the bank, a CD may offer a better rate than a savings account or a checking account. Major key. Yeah. Term. You need to be aware of. You need to pay attention. This is going to be beneficial to get a one year, three years, or a five year term for the CD. So this is key, guys. Make sure you pay attention. The term. Next. Variable or fixed interest rate. All right. The beauty of the CDs is fixed for the CD term. So if you pick a one year, that fixed interest rate is going to be for that particular year. So another key for the CD term. Now, again, we're in banking. Who never knows? It might change it later. But for now, the beauty of the CD is fixed. So we don't have to worry for now about the Fed rates here, like the checking accounts and the savings account. All right. Moving well, we along. Liquidity. Well, this one depends on the type, but typically low with penalties for early withdrawals. Yes, because you don't want to turn the CD into a, you know, into a savings account. So it makes no sense. Different tactics, so different goals. Again, it all depends here. You could, is your money. If you want this an emergency and you must withdraw that money, you got to do what you got to do. But now if it's something, you know, that you actually be able to manage, then, you know, if you have the means to do so and able to keep this money here, then go ahead and keep it. Don't freak out, you know? Now, I put as a bonus, I put this here, CD ladder. That's a, not a lot of strategic uh, deposit way for you to manage the, the CD. It's a little more complex, so you need to, if you interest you need to read more about that you know maybe consult with your financial institutions and see if that will work for you all right so keep sharp next atm cards that will be a no-no again you don't want to turn the cd into a checking account so no it fits the purpose next writing checks in here same thing no you don't want to turn the cd into a checking account that would be a no no. So, again, for that one, writing checks, no ability. So, there you go, guys. Certificate deposit for the interest rate factor, variable fixed. Beauty is fixed. Liquidity, that will be most of it will be with penalties. ATM cards, no. And writing checks will be a no. All right, guys. That will be it. All the three accounts the deposit account, saving, checking, and certificate deposit. Now, to bring some notion, food for thought, again, it's a way we can help you take your pick and let's see which one will be, you know, home for your money. Well, another tip bonus. You can actually get all three. I didn't bring this just to make you think that it can only be one, you know, CD or you can only pick savings accounts. No, you can actually get all three. They all have different purposes. One doesn't conflict with the other. Hey, there's a possibility on the second account that you might have the ability as a promotion to get the checking account for free, free checkbook, you know, etc. So again, guys, you are able to get all three. You can get the savings account, the checking account, and the certificate deposit. And then make them have their own strategic plan for you and your family. So again, Take your pick, you can have, depending, if you're just looking to be simplistic, just have one, or if you're looking to get, hey, I'm looking, you know, I'm able to multitask, I'll be able to maintain all three of the accounts, because this is my plan, that you can actually get all three, the savings, the checking, and the certificate deposit. So just study, talk to your financial institution, and see if that will be beneficial for you. All right, cool beans? Now, as a bonus, I'm gonna talk a little very brief about money market accounts. Well, for this bonus, money market account, deposit account that earns interest, of course, limits the number of transactions each month. So 
all the accounts have the perks, but you gotta watch out on some of the penalty. So keep an eye, okay? So don't go too crazy, all right? That wraps it up for this session, guys. I hope you find this content valuable. Please practice due diligence. You gotta do your homework, okay? Don't go crazy with the he said, she said, all right? Now, again, make sure that you grab my prime guide, Investing 101, down in the description box. Please submit your name, email. I'll take you straight to the download link. And again, it's free. You have no excuse. Also, for my Spanish and Latin people, my people, I got you. La misma forma. Nombre, correo electrónico. Someta nos llevará directo al sitio web. Bajen la guía de estudio completamente gratis. Pónganse en estudiar y familiarizarse con las cuentas y todos los beneficios. Ok. Y de nuevo, completamente gratis. So no hay excusa. Got it? Ok, guys. Remember, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, notification bell. That way you don't miss out any of my content. Remember, that's the Call of Duty major key formula. Alright, so stay connected. Alright, guys. Appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. And I see you on the next chapter, okay? Work hard and work smart. I'm out.